So credential management, you might wonder why is that important, but it's quite critical to help secure the routing infrastructure. So credentials assert identity. Who are you and what are you allowed to do? And there are many, many compromises that are at the root of it have to do with very poor credential management practices. Have you heard of Mirai? I would be surprised if you hadn't. Remember that the root of Mirai was compromising vulnerabilities that dealt with Telnet, i.e. sending credentials in clear text, and even worse, having default passwords. So really, we need to start looking at how do we help when we're in control of the routing infrastructure to make sure that we're not part of the problem. So how are credentials compromised? There's a variety of ways. Very often, people use the same passwords on many systems. That's really bad practice. And it can also lead to sometimes being a victim of a phishing attack. Because if you're using the same password to log into your routing infrastructure in other areas, it gives more of a possibility that a phishing attack can actually work. When somebody sends you an email, it looks like something you need to click on and enter your credentials. Also, if your laptop gets stolen, if you're not encrypting your laptop or if you don't have a spreadsheet with your passwords encrypted, then somebody who has access to a stolen laptop could potentially have access to all the passwords in your infrastructure. People also, unfortunately, send credentials in clear text emails. So just to say, hey, I need for you to log into the router or configure this router, and here are the passwords to it. It happens. It shouldn't happen, and we just have to pay attention to what we're doing. So we need to think about the entire credential management life cycle. And maybe it looks daunting, but really it isn't. You just have to think about when you're creating, changing, or renewing credentials, how do you distribute them? Right? Make sure you do it in a secure manner. Also, how do you store them? And we have to think about mobile devices in these days. So if you're doing something using your iPhone, or using some other phone, and you have backups in the cloud, are you sending information into the cloud, i.e. somebody else's computer, right? and can that be compromised? So just be cognizant of where the data is going. Also, how do you actually revoke credentials, and how do you destroy them? So just think about the entire life cycle so that you know that nobody unauthorized can access to a password and potentially misuse it. It is very important to think about all of the different credentials or passwords that are associated with the routing infrastructure. It's not only you as an operator that would have maybe physical access and have a password to get console access or even Telnet or SSH access. You also need to think about all the different credentials that are associated with protocols or management devices. For example, SNMP, IPsec, Syslog, even Secure NTP these days has credentials. Then we had a module on secure route authentication, also called sometimes MD5 authentication, and there are passwords associated with this. So all of these credentials are something you have to think about. How do you create them? How do you change them? And then how do you store them, distribute them, and delete them?